In this video, we will show how to communicate with ATC at a towered airport. We will be taking off and landing at Renton Municipal Airport on the south shores of Lake Washington near Seattle, Washington. Renton Municipal is a Class D airport. Once we have completed our pre-flight checklist and are ready to taxi, we need to listen to the ATIS frequency to get the weather and wind conditions, altimeter setting and any advisories. The ATIS will sound like this. Renton Airport Information Zulu. Weather at 1255 Zulu. Winds calm. Visibility 8. Ceiling 3200, broken. Temperature 5 dew point 4. Dew point 26. Altimeter 2992. Arriving and departing runway 34. Numerous flocks of ducks in the immediate vicinity of Renton Airport. Altitude unknown. Advise on initial contact you have information Zulu. After listening to the ATIS, we will contact ground control to get our taxi instructions. Remember the four W's of radio communications. It is who you are calling, who you are, where you are and what you want. Renton Ground, Cessna 85090. At the ramp. Ready to taxi. VFR with information Zulu. Ground Control will then give us our taxi instructions, and it will sound like this. Cessna 85090. Renton Ground. Runway Tree 4. Taxi via Alpha, Alpha 7. We will then read back Ground Control's instructions and give our call sign. Runway Tree 4. Taxi via Alpha, Alpha 7. Cessna 85090. The number 3 is pronounced tree and the number 5 is pronounced fife. The number 9 is pronounced niner. This has been adopted as standard radio communication practice to avoid confusion. After receiving our taxi instructions, we are taxiing on taxiway Alpha and then will turn left on Alpha 7 before being cleared onto runway 34. Upon reaching taxiway Alpha 7 and before proceeding on to runway 34, we contact the tower on 124.7 to get our takeoff clearance. Renton Tower. Cessna 85090. Runway 34, ready for north departure. Tower Control will issue our takeoff clearance by saying something like this. Cessna 85090. Renton Tower. Wind tree 60 at Niner, gusting 18. Right turnout for north departure. Runway tree 4. Cleared for takeoff. We then acknowledge the takeoff clearance by reading it back to the tower like this. Right turnout for north departure. Runway tree 4. Cleared for takeoff. Cessna 85090. We then take off and will make a right turnout for a north departure after the takeoff to follow the tower's instructions. After takeoff and upon reaching our cruising altitude for the flight, we can request flight following. Suppose we were heading north to Payne Field in Everett and were 10 miles north of Renton at 4,500 feet. Our request for flight following would sound like this Seattle Center Cessna 850. Request. Cessna 85090. Seattle Approach. Say request. Seattle Approach. Cessna 85090. 10 zero miles north of Renton at 4,500. Request flight following to Kilo Papa Alpha Echo. Cessna 85090. Squawk 7435 and Ident. Squawk 7435 and Ident. Cessna 85090. Cessna 85090. Radar contact. 10 miles north, northeast of Renton. Current altimeter 29901. Altimeter 29901. Cessna 85090. If we were being handed off from a departure to center frequency, the radio communications would sound like this Cessna 85090. Seattle Approach. Contact Seattle Center on 122.8. Seattle Center 122.8. Cessna 85090. 
We would then call up the center frequency by giving our call sign and altitude. Seattle Center. Cessna 850900. Climbing through 2200 for 2500. Cessna 850900. Seattle Center. Seattle Altimeter 3008. Altimeter 3008. Cessna 850900. Once we are ready to land, we would make our initial contact with the tower like this. Renton Tower. Cessna 850900. One zero miles south at 4,500. Inbound for landing, touch and go. With information Quebec. Cessna 850900. Renton Tower. Report 4 miles south. We'll report when 4 miles south. Cessna 850900. We would then need to make a radio call to the tower when 4 miles south. Once we are 4 miles south of the airport ready to land, we would report our position to the tower and they would give us instructions to enter the traffic pattern. Renton Tower, Cessna 850900. For miles south, at 2500. Inbound for landing, full stop. With information Quebec. The tower would then give us instructions for entering the traffic pattern. Cessna 850900. Renton Tower. Enter right downwind runway tree 4. We would then report our position once on the downwind leg for right-hand traffic pattern at runway 34. Renton Tower. Cessna 850900. Right downwind. Runway tree 4. We would then usually get our clearance to land. Sometimes, the tower may ask us to extend our downwind leg if there is traffic on a short final. In this case, we are clear of traffic so the tower gives us clearance to land. Cessna 850900. Renton Tower. Runway Tree 4. Cleared to land. Runway Tree 4 cleared to land, Cessna 850900. Renton Municipal has a right-hand traffic pattern for runway 34 as illustrated by the letters RP in the sectional chart. The tower will give you instructions on where to enter the traffic pattern and pilots should always follow the recommended procedures for the airport and be on the lookout for air traffic in the area. After landing, the tower will tell us which taxiway at which to exit the runway and the frequency for ground control. Cessna 850900. Turn left at Alpha 3. Contact ground on 121.6. Turn left at Alpha 3. Contact ground on 121.6. Cessna 850900. We will then contact ground control to get our taxi instructions. Renton ground. Cessna 850900. At Alpha 3. Ready to taxi to the ramp. Cessna 850900. Renton ground. Taxi to the ramp via Alpha. Taxi to the ramp via Alpha. Cessna 850900. We can then taxi back to the parking area on taxiway Alpha. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to communicate with air traffic control at a towered Class D airport. Please like the video and subscribe for flight training topics and aviation-related educational videos.